Welcome again and let's get started and in this lecture we're going to be learning how to well, get started with the 4i and what you need to do in order to use this amazing 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 tool and of course I'm going to be explaining what this tool can actually do. Starting with the 4i is extremely simple. It does not require any downloads or anything because it is purely working online. When to access it all you need to do is just go to a 4i.com and of course I highly encourage you to do this right now with me in order to follow me with other lectures as well. When you go to a 4i.com of course you're going to be greeted with the homepage telling you what this tool actually does. And in short to explain what this tool actually does, let me do this in a few words. Imagine having a regular chat GPT, but instead of working very meticulously on the prompts, most of the prompts are pre-built and easily understood by the chatbot. Also imagine that instead of going online and getting all the data from there, you are feeding your own data based on different books, based on different documents, different websites to the chatbot to make it understand this exact same topic based on exact resources that you're providing to the tool with all the citations and very extensive and very clear explanations of everything. That's basically what the 4i is. Also imagine the same thing but you have a chatbot for every single thing separately that you want. And it might not sound very clear and very impressive but, but hold with me for a few minutes you will understand what this tool can actually do and how easy it is to use. Of course in order to get access to a 4i you just need to click, click register or try it for free and that's it. You're gonna import your information and you are good to go. And when you do this congratulations you can start using a 4i. You'll be taken immediately to the dashboard. Dashboard. dashboard is basically your main chatbot window and for now it will be empty because you don't have anything set up and everything that you need will be on the left side of the screen first and very importantly it's a chatbot chatbots are basically different as separate bots a tool will feed different information to use for research and learning purposes for example the you feel on the chatbot that helps you with your youtube channel giving you information about youtube how it works you just feed all the different books that you have about the youtube all the different websites talking about youtube all the different blogs that talk about youtube feed it all to this chatbot and you basically basically have a YouTube master, an expert that consolidates all the knowledge and also can cite where it can get all the knowledge from. For example, if you want the legal assistant, you can create a separate chatbot for your legal works by feeding it different legal books or different laws, different websites, different researches, and this chatbot will help you with your legal work or anything else that you want. And just giving you a very simple example, you can even feed a recipe book and we can even create a separate chatbot for the recipe books, feed it a bunch of different recipe books and ask chatbot to help you with those recipe books to end scour through all those different books that help you with the information that you want like finding perfect meal or finding the perfect color and food and everything else can become a perfect assistance for you and in this chatbot menu you can create the chatbots and don't worry we'll do this a bit later and you can also categorize them just to help you to not get lost and of course you can launch different chatbots from here as well chatbots are of course using files and speaking of files Dextab is all about files this is where you upload different books uh, different files different information which will be the basis of all the knowledge that you want to work with this is incredibly helpful with your research if you want to consolidate all the different books and all the different articles and everything in just one single place or just helps you with the learning which, where you can do the same thing and consolidate all your knowledge in one place but next tab is also very important and it is a prompt tab this is a tab where you can create your own prompts now this is a bit more advanced and you need to understand prompt engineering a little bit in order to use it fully effectively but what a fora has is an amazing list of great prompts ready made for you like creating different summaries finding the specific information that you want writing documents proofreading or even the such basic things as writing cool emails. And of course, you can create the prompts yourself as well. The last thing that is very important for you, but not lasting of what a 4 can actually do, is of course File Wizard. File Wizard is helpful when you want some more advanced stuff done with your files. Like for example, if you want to upload the separate entire books and ask it to transform it into a simpler language, or even translate it to a bunch of different languages. You can ask to summarize the text or basically anything that you want to done with your documents. And when a 4 will be done with your documents, it will just send you the ready-made document to your email. It is incredible powerful if you're working with some large data sets. And the last thing that a 4 actually has is an API. That's not very useful for your everyday users, but if you are building different apps and want your own chatbots, this is an incredibly powerful tool. Just to sum up everything, because of this separation into chatbots, having a separate files inputs, or crafting your own prompts, it's much more simpler to understand because everything has its own place. And you can craft chatbots in whatever way that you see fit. And as time progresses and as more things are added into a 4 it will become even more powerful and even more easy to use. But enough of talking about only interface. In the next lecture, we will learn how to use a 4 i for the research. And to follow me, I highly encourage you to register there right now. So I'm going to see you in the next lecture. Take care.